his body or physical boundaries. The name of the book is called Kumelele, and it's a game played by grown-ups with children and young people. It involves a touch, song, movement, and awareness of boundaries, body or physical boundaries as well. And uh, to talk us through this, uh, the book Ikumbelele is author Dr. Cindy Wemagona and graphic novelist Sia Masuku, who is in studio. Good afternoon to you, and thank you so much for your time. Let's just start with you, Dr. Magona. Uh, I mean, you've dedicated your life uh, essentially as a social entrepreneur who always focuses on the plight of the poor, gender-based violence, and also highlighting uh, some of the ills in society. This book in itself what was the vision behind it in dealing with just those societal challenges? Good afternoon and thank you for having me. Thank you, Sia, for being part of this project. The book is really a revisit to what we have left behind. You know, there were games when I was a child that people my age and slightly younger, people in their 50s, 60s might remember that we played and games games are books games are books when children play they learn games teach informally of course but the mind of the child you know you know get something inside their brain unintentionally but the game teaches a little baby i mean a child of two three four onwards that the body, my body, is mine. The other person's body is theirs. And though they may be in the action, happy in the action, at some point, there may be a transgression where the interaction is no longer welcome. And I have the right to say stop. And when I say stop, it means stop. You know, the all the people, the grown-ups didn't go into explaining, but you knew if somebody says, shoo, you are pinching me too hard. You stopped immediately. There was no question about it. And I think growing up, we were being taught boundaries, respect for boundaries. Dr. Magona, um, I'm just going to request that you maybe remain stationary. Uh, we, we're just getting a lot of movement on your on your picture. And then I'll introduce Sia because he's the illustrator who will then speak in a child's language as to the, the message in the book about healthy boundaries, uh, uh, the, the respect of not only self, but other people's uh, personal space and boundaries as well. Sia, how, 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 do, how do you translate that message into a child um, or understandable language for, for children? Yeah, you know, that's a, a, a good question. Um, it, it helps when you're working with uh, uh, amazing writers and storytellers like Omama Cindy Omakona because the story is already out late. And for me, it's, it's really just visualizing what she has in mind, what she's put in words, and, and making it look uh, uh, look appealing for, a, I don't know, a 10-year-old, let's say. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's called Tumbelela. This is a Kosa word meaning? Tumbelela. What's it Tumbelela? Tumbelele, really, I, I, I don't know that. Tumbelele was the name of the game. Is the name of the game. Tumbelele, 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 go, 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 And then, you know, the pinching stops and the, the hands go all weakly, you know, in glee. Yeah. So if you maybe it's, say if you can demonstrate, because I, I, I get a picture, you were mentioning something that once there's a transgression or you feel violated, uh, this is demonstrated yes. in the form of a pinch. And then the person would cry out, um, you know, either in pain to say, I don't like what you're doing. Therefore, uh, yes. you know, there, there's some uh, uh, not only personal responsibility, there's accountability and there's also some restoration. Yeah. Um, yes, you know, requires, the, 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 uh, the, sorry, sorry, Dr. Magona, so Sia's see, see demonstrating to it's, us. It's, it's okay. quite a fun game because it requires one to be sensitive at the same time, but also grip the other one's uh, hand enough yeah. so that it, it doesn't, uh, you know, disturb the, the whole build up. And uh, yeah, sort of, uh, I mean, uh, you can either pinch too hard or pinch too soft. So it's about being very careful about how you do it. Yeah. 
I don't know what, what, what it was called, but I, I get it now. It was almost yeah. like a, you know, the hands above each other yes. that you play with the children yeah. and grown-ups as well. But the, the more you pinch, it's obviously an indication of that person having personal agency. If they don't like it, they don't need to speak out about it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so Dr. Magana, um, there, there are various other, you know, African ind indigenous knowledge systems. Growing up, we had the ghetto, the party, uh, but now you're competing with the digital age where there's too much screen time for children, access to information, and also not enough uh, reading for comprehension, let alone for leisure. How then do you bring back those kind of disciplines and um, virtues that we grew up with? You know, if we if we we agree or we accept that parents love their children i think that what must be brought you know to mind these days at school in church wherever people of childbearing years and even younger because everybody is going to be childbearing at some point is the fact that children learn all the time by various means it's not only books books are important but stories games and the words we use in everyday interaction in our homes children learn through the examples we throw at them whether we are aware we are teaching or not we are always teaching and the children learn because they, that's, that's what childhood is. You come to the world with no knowledge of what life is about. So from the moment you open your eyes, it's learn, learn, learn. Your body, your, the system of the body and urges you to learn. If you look at the child's eyes, newly born, as soon as they open their eyes and are able to rotate those eyes and look at they are asking eyes, querying eyes, eager to learn. Therefore, the grown-ups need to be mindful in the way they behave, verbally or in action. Children are learning from you. Therefore, the, you know, yes, we talk about reading, but we must be mindful of the fact that reading is not confined to the printed word. As we walk, as we talk, as we dance, as we sing, we are teaching. You mm -hmm. are always an example to the child. And, and, so, and children emulate what we do, Dr. Magona. And I just want to come back to the art of illustration, mind, uh, illustration as well. Uh, Sia, if you can yes. just talk us through the writing process, we understand that, as uh, Dr. Magwana um, says, that uh, it's not just about the written word. You, it can be illustrated in various forms, and the kind of creative style that you use, I suppose with graphics and illustrations, it, it varies as well. The colors or the scenery. What is the, the writing or illustration process for you? Um, yeah, it's, it's various steps, but mainly uh, it's uh, as soon as I get so the manuscript from uh, Dr. Magwana that I'm able to uh, find references, and you find references in, everywhere, even especially on the internet, references that uh, link closely to the to the words, and then uh, my my job would then be how do I use those references in a way that is uh, maybe in a style that is unique to how I draw or illustrate, and uh, and how I basically explain the words uh, mm -hmm. using the illustrations. So the process can take anything anything up to uh, six to eight months, depending on how quick we are working on it. And where do you start? Now that you, you've had the manuscript, you obviously have to lay out a storyboard and then which character comes first, yeah. um, as you're saying. So to talk us through that. Yeah, well, uh, luckily the characters, we, I mean, we'll go back and forth with Dr. Magona, we'll discuss the characters, we'll say that, in fact, as the writer, she will tell me that this is how I want this character to be. Uh, it's a young girl, they are twins, they are about age 10, and, um, uh, and they are very playful and, and youthful and all of that. So in my head, I need to figure out how to take those words and actually come up with this character and how they look.
you know. Uh, and then obviously there's various characters in the book, book about six of them. And yeah, it's a process for each of them. Yeah, I seem to be stuck on what this game used to be called. I think it was Piki Piki Marvel Line or something. Yeah. I saw like gentleman, a Billy Bong, whatever yeah. it was called. <laughs> Some words were made up as we, we um, you know, uh, grew up. But uh, thank you very much to both of you. Is the book readily available? Is it uh, accessible in the school curricula? Dr. Magona will give you the last word. Well, Kia would know more about that. It's, it's, it's downloadable on the internet. If you go to Magona Media, where all my books are available, Magona Media, you can get it too. And Sia has other ways of uh, you know, distributing the book. All right. I haven't had a call from schools. All right, Dr. Magona. So it's available online. We're just it's gonna... available online. So um, as Dr. Makona has illustrated on, on her website, also on siafundaonline.co.za. And only in Isikosa? Isikosa. It's only in Isikosa. All right, yeah. gotcha. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is a two... two? Tumbelele. Tumbelele author, uh, Dr. Sindiwe Magona, and graphic novelist Sia Masuku. It is downloadable on magonamedia.co.za. Today on the book...